Hi gems, it's your girl Amber here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a hair review. Um, this 100% virgin hair was provided to me by Sunbear. They're based out of China. They reached out to me and wanted to provide some hair for me to review and discuss with you guys. And this is the first for me. You know my channel is not necessarily known for um, hair reviews, but I've really been getting into making my own wigs. And they've provided me with an 18 inch closure, a 20, a 22, and a 24 inch bundle. And this is the Peruvian Curly. Um, I'll make sure to list all the particular specs below. But if you guys are interested, uh, join in as I make this really beautiful middle part wig. With other wigs that I've made in the past, I've always used this brand, but um, this is the first for me using a mesh wig. Um, the girls are really talking about the breathability versus the spandex wig caps. So I wanted to try it with this very um, curly, like wet and set textured type of hair. Um, as you can see here, this is the 18 inch closure that was sent to me. And you guys, first things first, when placing your closure, is you wanna make sure it aligns with the band of the wig cap. And don't be alarmed, that extra lace is something that we'll cut away later. But I like to make sure that I place my closure just a little bit below the band of the wig cap because you don't want it to pull back um, after wearing your wig throughout the day. This is something I had to learn the hard way. I mean, I too went to the University of YouTube to learn how to make my wigs. But uh, following certain girls, it's definitely been a trick of the trade for sure. And you want to make sure that you're laying your closure extremely flat. And I'm just using T-pins to put this in place before I start sewing the lace to the wig. What I particularly like about this lace closure, um, being a beginner, it's definitely easy to work with and it's a free part so I can part it any direction when wearing the wig. But after you've laid your lace um, front closure down, you wanna make sure you get all that extra hair out of the way so that you can begin to sew um, the closure to the wig and then not get in the way. Um, and it just really creates a, a, a great foundation before you start the process. And I just use a clip to tie it back. Um, first things first, you want to make sure with this particular kind of wig cap, because it doesn't have an elastic band um, around the perimeter of the wig cap, you can create your first stitch directly into the border of this mesh wig cap. Um, there's an adjustable strap in the back, so that isn't going to cause you an issue later when the wig is completely constructed and it not expanding on your head. So you want to make sure that you follow your T-pins and sew the lace directly onto the mesh. What I really am loving about the construction of this is that the mesh holes make it much easier to get that needle through and really allow the closure to lay as flat as possible. So you just wanna follow the pattern of the lace closure all the way around, just finishing the sewing, laying the closure down, um, and I am using a black nylon thread. Um, again, going to the University of YouTube and learning how to make wigs, the girls just say this is better than using cotton. Um, and it probably has a lot to do with just the long-term construction. But as you can see, the lace closure is laying as, laying as flat as possible on this wig cap. And now you can start with constructing the rest of your wig. Um, I start in the back and I like to position the hair from ear to ear and create more of like a U shape. The first bundle that I'm going to go in with is the longest bundle, which is 24 inches because I want to create more of like a layering effect. Um, and I just make sure that I am placing those T-pins. Um, one other thing I'd like to note is that I am doing double wefts throughout the entire construction until I get to about the crown of my um, wig head but um, it really creates more fullness and I wanted something really thick and, and luscious <laughs> when I finished uh, making the wig. So as you can see here, I'm using the T-pins and just placing it from ear to ear before I start sewing. I mean, I too am a beginner and this really helps kind of guide my sewing construction using those T-pins to lay the hair onto the wig and just follow that path. Um, one thing I want to note with this kind of cap as well is that you can start sewing directly above the adjustable strap and it's not going to affect um, wearability. It's not going to cause you to have any issues when you need to adjust the wig to your particular dome shape <laughs> so that's another thing I really liked about it satin caps I mean the material is just a little bit thicker and these little holes really allowed my needle to get through really clear and I could better um, have precision with um, following that 
u-shaped pattern so that all the hair laid really properly and uh and seamlessly And one technique that I wanted to share with you guys is that I don't cut any of the wefts just in case I want to use them later in life. I mean, I can't see myself cutting this out and starting over because it is quite time consuming since I'm still very much a beginner. But I do what is called the um, fold over method. And when I get to the end of where I've placed all my T-pins and I want to take the excess hair, I just fold the weft over and... Um, begin sewing it and constructing it and following that u-shape i've gotten all the way to the crown and i'm still following the same pattern as you can see i'm still doing double wefts um, i've done the 24 the 22 and this is the 20 inch and i'm still using my t-pins again i'm a beginner and i am all about coloring in the lines <laughs> um, once i get to the crown i decide to only do one weft as I really don't necessarily need it as thick on top. And plus I was getting to a place where I was running out of bundles and I wanted to be able to extend it as much as possible. So again, I'm following the same U shape. I'm using my T-pins and I'm just continuously sewing in that pattern. Once I get to the top of my head and I have my last um, weft of bundle, I use the T-pins again, still um, drawing in the lines, but I make sure that I sew that last weft directly to the lace closure to make sure that there is no gaps between hair from the weft to the closure. So um, I wish I had a better angle of this, you guys, but I, I essentially just put the needle into the weft through the cap and then through the lace just the border of the lace closure that i had already previously installed and that really brings the whole um, construction together and really closes any gaps and any spacing and then you just cut off your excess um, thread and i like to triple knot it and then because i'm using black thread um it's pretty seamless and doesn't cause any confusion people all up on your head so at this point I'm completely finished with the construction um I really loved how everything was laying it was really beautiful so once I'm pretty thrilled with it I just turn it inside out and I cut away where you see that black mesh and that's really important for wearability once you put the wig on you want that lace closure to really match your natural hairline and having this black mesh underneath of it will not give you that effect. Um, Cause I mean, ultimately you want the folks to think it's growing from your scalp, right? So just be really careful and cut away along that perforated line that you sewed the lace closure to the wig cap and remove that excess material. And this is only after you're comfortable with it. Definitely try it on, see if you like it first before committing to this final step. Plus, you just want to be really careful because you just did all that work constructing and you don't want to, you know, cut the lace too short and then the whole thing fall apart. So you guys, this was my first video um, showing you how I construct my wigs. This will be a two part review. You guys, the next one I'll be wearing and styling it and showing you everything about the wig but i just wanted to show you how i constructed it from bundles provided to me from sunbear um the peruvian curly is a beautiful finish super super soft but until next time shine bright <music>